plain form of the verb to be in Korean is ida. Korean makes no distinction for the choice of the verb among first person, second person, and third person subjects. Only a single verb to be ida is used across all subjects. In Korean, a sentence is formed in the order of subject, object, and the verb being the last. As mentioned, plain form of verb to be is ida. Formal polite form is imnida. Informal polite form is yeo when the preceding word is a closed syllable or yeo when the preceding word is an open syllable. Casual form of verb ida is ia or ya, depending on the word that comes before verb to be. Let's review these two examples. A book is check, which is a closed syllable. A tree is namu, which is an open syllable. Using a plain form of verb ida is simple. Check ida, namu ida. Using a formal polite form of the verb, this is a book is check imnida, and this is a tree is namu imnida. Informal polite form is ieyo when the preceding word is a closed syllable, or yeyo when the preceding word is an open syllable. Check ieyo, namu yeyo. To say it casually, you say checkia and namuya. Let's try another example of verb to be, which is used when introducing someone. Korean language is considered a high context language, and it is common to omit the subject in the sentence. So in this example, it is assumed either Chunho is introducing himself or someone is introducing Chunho to a third party. It sounds tricky, but Korean people also ask back when they are not sure about the subject. So don't worry too much about not getting it in the first place. In the plain form, you say Chunho ida. In a formal polite way, you say Chunho imnida. Chunho yeyo is in the informal polite way. In a casual way, you say Chunho ya. There's also honorific form when introducing someone who is older than you or someone with a higher social status. Using an honorific formal form of the verb to be, you say Chunho ishimnida. In the informal setting, when you introduce Chunho who is older than you or with a higher social status, you say Chunho Seyo. Verb to be is also used to say time and date. 10 o'clock is Yolshi. In the plain form, it is Yolshi Da. Formal polite form, it is Yolshi Imnida. In informal polite way, it is Yolshi Yeyo. In a casual way, 10시야. 2.30 is 2시 30분. In the plain form, it is 2시 30분이다. In a formal polite way, 2시 30분입니다. As you see here, 2시 30분 ends with the close syllable. To say it in an informal polite way, you say 2시 30분이에요. In the casual way, it is 2시 30분이야. Thursday is 목요일. In the plain form, it is 목요일이다. In a formal polite way, 목요일입니다. In the informal polite way, 목요일이에요. In casual way, it is 목요일이야. Another use of verb to be is to say someone's age. Let's review two examples here. I am 19 years old. In a plain form, is 열아홉 살이다. He's 30 years old, is 서른 살이다. To say it in a formal polite way, 열아홉 살입니다. 서른 살입니다. Since you're not using honorific form to say your own age, we only say 서른 살이십니다. To say it in an informal polite way, 열아홉 살이에요. 서른 살이에요. 서른 살 이세요 to say it in the honorific informal polite way. To say it in a casual way, 열 아홉 살이야, 서른 살이야. Let's also review the conjugation of the past tense. The plain form in past tense is 이었다, 였다. In a formal polite form, 
이었습니다, 였습니다. And the informal polite way is 이었어요, 였어요. In the casual way, 이었어, 였어. In the honorific formal polite way, 이셨습니다, 셨습니다. In the honorific informal polite way, 이셨어요, 셨어요. When using verb to be in terms of existence, there's a different verb in Korean, which is 있다. Let's take a look at how verbs 이다 and 있다 are used differently. This is a gift is 선물이다. There is a gift is 선물이 있다. In a formal polite way, 선물입니다. 선물이 있습니다. In the informal polite way, 선물이에요. 선물이 있어요. In the casual way, 선물이야. 선물이 있어. Let's try another example where subject is not clear. In a plain form, 집에 있다. In a formal polite form, 집에 있습니다. In the honorific formal polite way, 집에 계십니다. Informal polite way, 집에 있어요. And in the honorific informal polite way, 집에 계세요. And in casual way, 집에 있어. In this example, it is clear the subject of the sentence is two people. In the plain form, 두 명이 있다. 두 사람이 있다. In a formal polite form, 두 명이 있습니다. 두 사람이 있습니다. Using honorific formal polite form, 두 분이 계십니다. In the informal polite way, 두 명이 있어요. 두 사람이 있어요. In the honorific informal polite way, 두 분이 계세요. In the casual way, 두 명이 있어 or 두 사람이 있어. Let's also review the conjugation of the past tense, 있다. In a plain form, 있었다. In a formal polite form, 있었습니다. In the honorific formal polite, 계셨습니다. In the informal polite, 있었어요. Honorific informal polite, 계셨어요. In the casual form, 있었어. This is the end of Korean verb to be explained. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos to come.